Hey, welcome back, everybody. This is another TTM video. We like to get autographs TTM or through the mail. We send our favorite athletes, celebrities, photographs, 8x10s, 4x6s, or baseball cards, sports cards, along with a self-addressed stamped envelope asking for their autograph. When we get returns, we head to YouTube so we can share the information with everyone. We've got five today, so we need to get right into it. First one is coming from Northwest Arkansas. And it's Joe Ferguson. We saw him on a recent Mail Day video. Signed one. We sent him three cards, three of the same cards, and he signed all three. Thankfully. Sometimes they don't like to sign all the same cards. They think you might be getting doubles to sell or something of that nature. Get paranoid, but Joe Ferguson, 70 years old, former quarterback. He played for 18 years, from 1973 to 1990. And then he played another year in 1995 for the San Antonio Texans in the Canadian Football League, brought back by his former coach with the Bills. But um, took over in high school for a guy named Terry Bradshaw, who graduated the year before. Great NFL career, passed for almost uh, 30,000 yards, led the league with 2,800 yards in 77, led the league with touchdown passes with 25 in 1975. He's a Bills legend. He's on the Bills heralded Wall of Fame. And um, since retiring, he's gone through a couple cancer scares on at least two occasions. And thankfully, he's um, uh, recovered from both those. So anyway, Joe Ferguson lives in Arkansas where he went to college. Got that back in 15 days, no fee. And probably put the other three. Remember in the mail day video, I got six of these same cards. So we'll wait a while and send those other three out. Number two, coming from Phoenix, Arizona. And it is Tony Madrich. Nice. He signed three of three in black. Only put one back in that hard card. That's fine. Got that college pick. Him dominating at Michigan State. One of the best college offensive line prospects of all time. Just a dominant college player. Didn't really pan out the pros. Had some issues, personal issues, and some uh, admittedly some steroid issues where he wanted to stop taking steroids in the NFL. 53 years old now. He was uh, offensive lineman for seven seasons, 89 to 92. And you say, well, that's only four. But then he took a four-year break where he went to rehab, quit the game for four years, and then came back with the Colts and actually started two full seasons with the Colts. But, yeah, he was number one prospect. He takes some ribbing because in the draft, an 89 draft, um, he was drafted number three overall. And the other top five picks, so one, two, four, and five, not only became starters on their NFL teams, not only became pro ball players for the NFL teams, but they all ended up in the Hall of Fame. Troy Aikman, Barry Sanders, Derek Thomas, and Deion Sanders. One, two, four, and five. And Mandridge was the number three pick. But anyway, 35 days, no fee for Tony Mandridge. Love that 89 pro set. All right, number three. This is coming from Eugene, Oregon. Probably know who this one is. Been waiting for, I don't know, three weeks or so, maybe, for a potential football Hall of Famer on this one. Why am I having so much issue cutting this envelope? Gee, me, Christmas. All right, we'll just tear it open. Well, there's a blank card card. <laughs> Hopefully they're in there. Yep, Dan Fouts. Sign one, sign two. I saw some other folks getting him back. Was hoping mine would come back as well. Got that nice 89 Pro set. He was an announcer card, actually. By that time, he was fully retired. And then this 80 tops, showing it, throwing for 4,000 4, yards his first year here. And he was about to do it for two consecutive seasons after that. He was the first ever quarterback to throw for 4,000 yards three consecutive seasons. He and his coach, uh, 
Don Coryell kind of revolutionized the passing game in the NFL. But yeah, he's a great player. 68 years old now, 15 seasons in the NFL, 73 to 87. All for, as you see here, the San Diego Chargers. It's legendary statistics. Six times in the Pro Bowl, NFL Player of the Year, 1982. Two-time AFC Player of the Year, 79 and 82. Uh, threw for over 43,000 yards in his career. He was on the NFL 1980s All-Decade team. Never did reach the Super Bowl, but it wasn't due to his play. Hall of Fame in the first year of eligibility, 1993. 29 days, no fee for Hall of Famer Dan Fouts. Next one's coming from Pittsburgh, PA. It's a full-size envelope. I believe I know who it is. I won't announce it until I see it. First time I've gotten back from him for sure. Note in there. He put some tape on the envelope. I was worried about that envelope sticking. It says, Mike, thank you for your gracious note. Lanny. All right. This is longtime Pittsburgh Pirate broadcaster Lanny for Terry. Signed that Pittsburgh Pirates PNC Park to Mike, Lanny for Terry. Very nice. And I got this from a 1977 yearbook. Showing the two announcers, Milo Hamilton and Lanny for Terry. To Mike, Lanny for Terry. Signed it in red. Gorgeous. Don't know if this will stand up or not. Yeah, that'll do. Lanny for Terry. 72 years old now. He was, um, let's see, announcer for the Pirates for 33 years. From 76. This is 1977. He started the year before in 76 until 2009. Announced more than 5,000 games for the Pirates. And he's actually started here in Charleston when the Pirates had their triple-A team here in uh, Charleston, West Virginia in 74 and 75. And then 76, he came, he came up with the big league team in Pittsburgh. A fun fact, uh, like Chris Card's fun fact, Landy for Terry, he was actually doing the play-by-play -play of a basketball game, Indiana U versus Purdue. And what happened in that game? You may remember Bobby Knight throwing a chair across the floor. Well, that announcer, if you see that play, the announcer in that game was Lanny for Terry doing basketball at that time. So he was nominated for the um, Major League Baseball uh, Ford Frick Award, which is the um, announcer's wing of the Major League Baseball Hall of Fame. He was nominated for that in 2008. He was not elected, but I'm sure he will be at some point. Number five, we're going for another one. Let's see. Brockton, Massachusetts. I have a good feeling we know who this is, too, because of the misshaped envelope. It's a uh, five by seven envelope, I believe. Yep, it's my man, Richie Hebner. There's the card. Signed this 1969 stadium card. I think it's probably a four by six. 72 years old now, former third baseman. Actually came up as a shortstop in the Pirate system. They moved him to third. But uh, played for 18 seasons from 68 to 85, and he signed these as well. These uh, SSPC cards from 75. Rich Hebner. Man. Played for uh, the Pirates for about 11 of those 18 years and played for other teams as well including the Cubs and the Mets and the Phillies. 203 lifetime home runs. He was a starter at third base for the Pirates in their glory days back in the 70s. 70 to 75, they won five consecutive NL East crowns, five in six years. And then they won a World Series ring in 1971. He had 203 lifetime homers, kind of a fan favorite in Pittsburgh, especially with the women who loved him. And since his retirement, he's been coaching in the major leagues and minor leagues for several years, including uh, time with the Tigers as a hitting coach and Phillies with a hitting coach. But got that back in 13 days. No fee for Richie Hebner. So that's it, guys. Five returns. Joe Ferguson, 15 days, no fee. Tony Mandritz, 35 days, no fee. Dan Fouts, 29 days, no fee. Laney Terry, 8 days, no fee. And Richie Hebner, 13 days, no fee. All free autographs. Let me know if you need any addresses. Comment down below. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you see. 
If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscription rectangle, and then hit the notification bell. That way you'll not be notified of all my future videos. Every time I post one, you will receive a notification. Hey, thanks for watching, guys and gals, and we'll see you soon.